As some of you may know, during the development of Update 25, the developers set out on an ambitious goal to create over 100 overclocks. They have indeed achieved said goal initially, the overclock count did hit 102, but then they cut 8 of them, overhauled a few, and made 4 brand new ones. So as of this video, we have 98 overclocks in the game. I'm gonna talk about the 8 cut overclocks and mention a few that were overhauled throughout the year. Alright, let's start with Varthog's cut overclock Ricochet. As you can see, it's... As you can see, it's a clean overclock meant to ricochet any bullets hitting the surface. Here's a demonstration where I intentionally miss every shot. The bullets deliberately redirect themselves into an enemy. It was cut due to graphical issues, <laughs> might come back later. Yeah, right. Next, let's do BRT, or BERT. It has two cut overclocks, starting with Charge Explosive. Or Charge Explosive, if that's what you prefer. It's a balanced overclock with remote explosives, but comes with a large reduction to ammunition. It seems like the explosions only damage the creature they originate from. Might be just me. It was cut due to technical issues. Next overclock for the BERT is called Smart Sleep Arounds. It's an unstable overclock with some sort of smart bullets that hit another target upon reload, but reduces a lot of other stats. Whenever I reload, spurts of blood do come out of the targets, indicating those bullets coming out, but no idea which creature they go for. It was also cut due to technical issues. Next, it's Bulldog's cut overclock, last not least. It's an unstable overclock which provides with double damage on the last shot, but has some penalties to fire rate and reload time. While it's pretty insignificant against regular enemies, it does shine through a tiny bit versus Praetorians. It was cut due to technical issues as well. Next is Zukov's cut overclock, Damage Spike. It's a clean overclock that transforms these pistols into burst fire guns, basically dual wielded BERT. Whenever the attack button is held down, the shooting animation will keep playing regardless if it's actually firing. It was cut due to technical issues again. Next it's GK2's cut overclock, Micro Rounds. It's an unstable overclock offering large increase in ammo but also a significant damage penalty, making each bullet even weaker than they already were. It also takes a while to kill a Praetorian on this overclock. It was cut due to balancing issues. Next it's Subata's overclock combo damage. It's a balanced overclock offering increase in damage to consecutive shots but comes with penalties to reload time and base damage. It's hard to tell by how much the damage increases. But here's a damage comparison between the first bullet and the last bullet. It was, guess what, cut due to technical issues. Next it's EPC's cut overclock improved thermal efficiency. It's a balanced overclock with a large reduction to heat resistance but comes with a damage penalty. Here it is in action. This is really ridiculous as it never overheats via regular shots. No, really. Look here. I did try and it only got close to overheating. It was cut due to balancing issues. No wonder. Since the original upload of this video back in 2019, there have been some overhauls made to overclocks, and I thought it was worth mentioning at least a few. Wild Tile Bullets, which was later rebalanced and renamed to Bullets of Mercy, originally provided with bonus damage against burning targets only, and reduced the fire rate instead of the magazine size. Feather Trigger, which was later merged with 5 shooter and then rebalanced to create 6 shooter. Originally, it greatly increased the fire rate and, as a result, also boosted recoil. And Yaw Man, which was later overhauled and renamed into Spinning Death. Originally, it made the projectile rotate horizontally and would reduce the rate of fire instead of spinning very quickly in its place. 